Today began in a very special way for a group of veterans. It was an honor flight. But this was made even more special with the presence of one particular veteran. Local 12's Adam Clements has his story. Each and every one of these veterans on board the final honor flight of the season has a remarkable story to tell. Paul Browning's journey that led him to our nation's capital, perhaps the most extraordinary of them all. This is what Paul Browning looked like seven weeks ago. Beaten, bruised, fighting for his life after a violent robbery outside of Good Samaritan Hospital where his wife was receiving care. This is Paul today. My legs is gradually picking up a little speed now. I was dragging on my feet pretty pretty bad for a while there. Now I'm getting up to where I can walk a little better. Almost fully recovered, the World War II vet is among the 72 former service men and women making the trip of a lifetime. A flight to Washington, D.C. to visit the National War Monuments. Last time I was there, they didn't have a World War II memorial. And I didn't get to see that, so now I get to see that one too. Paul's son Marvin is on board as well, serving as a guardian, free of charge, thanks to donations made by strangers, touched by Paul's story. It lets you know that uh, there are a lot of good people out there. You know, there's, there's some idiots and some people that just kind of lost their way, but you know, there's a lot of people out there that genuinely care. Well, I'm just glad my son can go with me because he's, a, he's always been around. He's the one that, he's my helper. Paul says he's been trying to land a seat on the honor flight for the past several years with no luck. This time, Paul didn't have to ask. Honor flight officials came to him. It's one of the things that came up that you really didn't know you were going to get. The plane was a little late arriving to CVG from Charlotte. For a lot of these veterans, they've waited a lifetime to take a trip like this. 20 extra minutes, no big deal at all. Reporting from CVG, Adam Clements, Local 12 News. What a great story. It's been a long but worthwhile day for those veterans. We just got word from Z CVG that their plane just landed back home. A great day for the greatest generation, and we thank Mr. Browning for his service. Mr. Browning looks great, doesn't he? He does. Yeah, yeah he seems very happy, too. Last time we saw him, he was all black and blue. Oh, yeah, he looks great. Yeah.